Demonology has always been my favorite spec in World of Warcraft for Warlocks, obviously. And now, after I've done tremendous amount of full clears of horrific visions of both Stormwind and Ogrima on multiple alts, I kind of come to the conclusion that Demonology relatively sucks. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, Gyro here. Yes, we're going to be talking about Demonology today. This is a full clear of the horrific vision of uh, Stormwind, I believe. And um, I am comparing its, uh, the performance of the spec primarily to the destruction, to Warlock destruction spec. Uh, the link will be added here above. You can click it and take a look at the video that is showing to you the full clear of the horrific vision on destruction spec. Destruction performed really, really well in my opinion and was actually a surprisingly a lot of fun to play for me personally. Now, Demonology, as I said, is my favorite spec. I'm not mocking anyone here and I'm not trying to be funny. I actually love the fantasy. I love the idea of a warlock uh, traveling around with demons and commanding demons to do their bidding, to do the most of the damage, most of the stuff, whatever it is that they do, demons. Well, my issue with Demonology has been that generally we are dealing with very low damage output, comparatively low damage output. With my skill level, with my item level of 447, the one that this tune, specifically in this particular recording, is running with. Look, again, um, there are a few particular things to call out. First of all, I seem to be unable to, maybe it's my spec, maybe it is my gear, maybe it is my skill, even though I don't think that one needs tremendous amount of skill to operate demonology well enough. Um, but I seem to be unable to pump out enough damage to either completely sweep the streets of Stormwind or Grima, whatever, whatever comes my way in, in a horrific vision, to make my way through it confidently, with fun, feeling like, yeah, I'm here, guys, get out of the way, my demon is gonna whirlwind you, or whatever. Yeah, so, um, not enough DPS, just not enough DPS, I do not understand. My gear is not top-notch, but 447, come on, is, is reasonably okay. Weapons and weapon and offhand are reasonably okay. No crazy amazing corruptions unless I'm missing something out. No, I don't think I have amazing corruptions. I have, well, I do have Twilight Devastation, of course, of rank 2. My cloak is rank 13. It is not bad, but these corruptions are not amazing. At the very least, you will not see a demonstration of a recount, the DPS meter, where it would be like for some other classes, especially for melee classes that work up close and personal with large groups of, of enemies, where, say, a Twilight Devastation of rank 2, I think, Corruption level 50, has done huge amounts of damage or made huge amounts of difference on the battlefield itself as you keep watching this run kind of forward. That's at least my feeling. I do have Gift of the Titans. I have important Mother's Archives um, talents which, together with the cloak rank, obviously are what makes it all possible. Even with a low output of damage, a class like this can still be okay. The disappointment and what makes me kind of say it about my favorite spec of Warlocks, it's my favorite spec, but what makes me say that it sucks? It's not a clickbait, it's an honest kind of uh, cry out of my soul to my audience. I am just disappointed. I'm just disappointed with the low output of damage. I'm disappointed with the fact that I don't have a good interrupt on this spec. I am using Mortal Coil, the fear thing, as an interrupt. I understand it's not perfect, but that's what I'm using kind of to interrupt the enemies. Um, those that can be interrupted. But you will see later, for example, uh, Magister Umbric and Aliria, who both cast Polymorph. So they are immune to my, to my fear, to my fear, to my horror, horrifying spells. So that interrupt that can be used as interrupt uh, mortal coil on majority of mobs in Stormwind, it doesn't work on, um, in a couple of places where it actually matters. So the main place where you need to interrupt is when they try to polymorph you. I know it is far ahead of you, yeah, forward, 
and I know the Twilight Devastation did this job particularly uh, in your face uh, as I entered the Cathedral Square of Stormwind but that doesn't mean anything guys if you keep watching you will see that in the grand scale of things I was disappointed and by the way bonus bonus little idea thought share to share with you as far as corruptions are concerned just stick around won't be long I'll get back to it so no interrupt low damage output self-sustain as you can see that I'm not running any food buff and I know I'm not comparing apples to oranges anymore which is by the way why I stopped showing you that scale remember in my earlier videos especially for my regulars you would have seen me using that scale of how powerful does the does the spec feel and like how am I doing how can I compare it to other specs like one felt OP another felt underpowered remember that look it was a nice idea and I experimented with it not like you particularly loved it or asked me to keep it if you want to see a return of that please let me know but I thought that if I'm trying to keep having fun as opposed to just turn it into something sim like or something that is a little bit more statistical as opposed to um, kind of emotion driven as as I think we should always prioritize our experiences and how we feel about things when it's a game we're supposed to be having fun so I kind of thought look I tried something I thought it's gonna be okay but I don't think I can keep it up showing you those stats to compare the classes and and specs one to one while having fun and it's just hard to keep the conditions of the test exactly the same or close enough in this particular case like I said I'm, I'm not running any food buffs with some other classes that I'm running and testing and kind of having fun with and sharing my opinions with you guys about I do run food buffs so it depends you know it depends uh, so in this particular case I'm not running a food buff but it's still a warlock and you'd think that a warlock has health stones has uh, you know the what's it called health drain the you know that icon with the mouth with a with a green thing out of it I, I, I'm just blanking out right now I play so many alts and I'm having fun but I don't remember every single spell okay um, anyway so warlock is supposed to be leeching life well warlock is supposed to have talents which I do like demonic skin and other kind of stuff that give you uh, for example again I can't remember the soul barrier or something the talent which basically converts percentage of every single target spell into a shield on yourself and on your um, and on your pet on your demon well in questing it's enough in a horrific vision that kind of pushes you through your paces and actually tells you like swords boys from men using classic metaphor here I don't know how how it is you know how, how well it works in our in our day and age when uh, people zoom in on someone saying man what about women okay and sorts out sorts out girls from capable ladies yeah to be inclusive look my point is my point is that um warlock in demonology spec specifically in many many places resonated with me in a negative way which makes me say that the spec kind of sucks where my demon was killed I was not able to leech out or heal myself sufficiently to sustain myself without a food buff and it was obvious in this run um, and it is not even a masks run it is just a full clear by the way in case it's not obvious full clear will succeed I'll clear it I'll clear it yeah thanks to mother's archives thanks to gift of the titans thanks to the tremendously reduced amount of sanity drain but as you start as you continue watching my videos about other classes about other specs that I'll be reporting on and inadvertently comparing to each other still even if we're not going to use the scale I will still talk to you about ah and this one feels better than that one whatever you will see that um, the at least a few runs majority of the runs that I've done lately majority of the full clears I'll be talking to you about in different specs on different alts they I have not even used orbs I have not even used orbs I finished the run with three orbs this again to justify why I'm saying it kind of sucks kind of feels like it sucks a bit is that eye level is comparable cloak rank is comparable 
Gift of the Titans is there. Sure, I did not run food buff. I, you know, I own to that. So possibly that's where I messed up a little bit. But basically, I'm just thinking that um, uh, the, the performance was just lower because these parameters were definitely comparable. And I had to use up orbs in this run. I didn't even feel confident enough to finish this without using orbs to just say, guys, look, I know it's not a five masks clear, but at the very least, I'm trying to push myself to go within fun parameters, not get too frustrated, but at least I'm not using orbs. So it's not completely like, mate, what's there to be proud of? Well, there, there are some things to be proud of, I think, especially if you're a casual like me. And again, if that didn't come across clearly enough, or if you're new here, if you're not one of my regulars, I have to say it. This is casual content. This is for casuals, you know? And that's what, that's what I primarily mean by saying that um, if you're a casual, if you're a casually geared character, if you don't ride, uh, if you don't raid normal, heroic, mythic um, raids or high ranks of keys in mythic plus dungeons, then this place is for you. Then you're similar to me. Then your ballpark figure of the item level and performance of your characters that you would be aligning to would be somewhere around 450. Let's just round it up and say 450, even though majority of mine are probably somewhere around 445. 445. A couple, two, three are in 450, 455, in, in that range. So yeah, there is only so much I can say about this, and it's a long-ish video, it's a long-ish end-to-end run of the full clear of Horrific Vision. You can and are most welcome to finish watching this until the end and see what I get from the end chest and see how the how Aliria as a boss is being handled. Spoiler alert, I already told you, it's very, very hard for me, well, impossible for me to really interrupt her on Polymorph. So Polymorph is going to be a bit of an issue, not like threatening issue, obviously, but it's still going to be a bit of an issue for me. Um, other than that, I enjoy Demonology. Again, I'll wrap up by saying it's one of my favorite specs. To level, to quest with, maybe to do LFR when you just stand at the back and see your demons like charge ahead and do their stuff. But it is not something that I would attempt to top DPS meters with or try to push masks with or even do this for fun rather than a recording and a report to you guys. I wouldn't even repeatedly push horrific visions in demonology spec with no masks on just because I enjoy it. I don't. I didn't. I would much rather spend my time doing it on other specs that are actually tremendously enjoyable and you feel OP. You feel overpowered on them. And that's what kind of I think my time is better spent as a player on. And certainly when I'm not reporting to you guys, well, what's, what's the point of doing this if there is no points to be, to be made beyond this? Let me know how you feel about demonology. Did I miss something tremendous? I did show you kind of my setup of the character at the beginning. I am recording this narrative as always afterwards. I first do the run. I focus on this. I did a few experiments early on on this channel where I tried to comment as well, uh, like talk to you as I was running. And I don't think it worked very, very well because I seem distracted. I watched these videos afterwards myself. I don't even need a particularly harsh criticism. I'm, I'm my harshest critic. Right? I try to make better content for you guys. But I welcome your feedback and opinions on demonology. How do you perceive it? Do you know what I mean? Do, have you tried other specs, first of all? Have you tried Destro? Because Destro feels much better, like I said to you. Yeah, watch the video if you haven't already of my full clear on Destro. Demonology, sadly, kinda sucks. That's what I'm gonna leave you to watch the rest of this video. Turn on some funky music for you as I always do. Encourage you to subscribe and show your support if this is your kind of content. And I will talk to you in the next video about more classes, Shadowlands Alpha, other kind of stuff in a couple of days, days time. See you later. Bye-bye.